check, check, check. Next up is wide receiver Tori Gurley. Questions for Tori? Tori, everybody's been asking about how difficult it's, it's the past couple of weeks, way up, way down, got me difficult. What's the mindset of the team? Uh, the mindset of the team right now is just to stay focused. You know, emotionally, we've been through a lot, but, you know, we still have to continue to, to finish strong and to finish every game because, uh, you know, every game is 60 minutes. And uh, if we go out and execute the rest, uh, with the wins will come. So we just have to stay focused. Uh, how key is uh – Marcus uh, to, to this team. I mean, guys didn't score after he got injured, and I mean, is he really that much of a of the centerpiece of this offense? Uh, Marcus is a great player, but you know we're a total team, and if, and uh, Brian Maddox and Kenny Miles and other backs are ready to step up and make plays. But uh, he's a very intricate part of the offense, and uh, he he makes great plays. But you know we're just gonna continue to work and block hard, and you know the. If the running backs make it to the second level, we're going to do whatever it takes to get them in the end zone. Uh, you guys have suffered from scoring matches in key games, particularly like Saturday. What do you attribute the second half scoring matches to? Um, we just got to go out and execute. You know, the coaches are doing a great job of putting us in a situation to uh, make big plays. You know, all week long, they have everything mapped out for us. We just have to go out and make it happen. Tori, can you describe what you've seen from Kenny um, in terms of how he's held up last year's leading rusher this year, lost his starting job, and hasn't really seen the ball, but may get a chance this week? How's, how's he done in practice? Yeah, Kenny's still been working extremely hard. You know, when he gets in to get his reps, you know, he just he, he carries everything out, and he's just waiting for his opportunity. So, you know, if Saturday, you know, if he's starting back, then, you know, we're all going to embrace him and be ready to play. Tori, Coach Spurrier said that an ongoing problem since he's been here at USC is a lack of mental toughness among the players. What is Coach Spurrier and the rest of the coaches, how are they handling this? And what what do they talk to the players about as far as developing mental toughness? Yeah, we just have to pay attention to detail. You know, Coach Spurrier is very meticulous. And um, guys just have to read their scout report and read the playbook, you know, like their Bible. And just have to continue to stay on top of that stuff because in the game it happens so fast. So I feel like, you know, if everyone takes the opportunity to just look over, you know, their plays for an extra, you know, five, ten minutes, it, it'll carry over into the game. I guess uh, on the mental toughness, do you think that the road woes of late is attributed to that possibly? Yeah, I mean, it's tough playing in different venues in the SEC, you know. Uh, we thought Kentucky wasn't going to be as loud, but it seemed like after they announced the basketball team in, in the second half and, and, uh, and you know, some of the turnovers starting to happen, man, it sounded like we were playing LSU or, or you know, some traditional powerhouse. So, you know, teams are gunning for us, but we just have to continue to just work hard and make plays. Are you, are, are you surprised? Were, were, you may, you may or may not know this. Were you surprised to see that the winner of this week's game, either Vanderbilt or South Carolina, will be on top of the uh, SEC East? I didn't even know that, but um, I know they. We're I know we're in a wad right now with everyone with that loss, but we just have to continue to work hard because we can control our own destiny. Sort of on that note. Um, do you feel, I mean, does the team feel like it's time to put the dagger in the rest of the SEC East that, I mean, the door is wide open and South Carolina is uh, almost at the threshold? Yeah, we've always felt like that. You know, we just have to, this right here is, you can call it a humbling experience because you anyone can be beat on any Saturday. So, you know, we just have to continue to put our foot down on the team and just not look back. Did you guys feel lucky getting out of Saturday with, with not a ton of damage done, the fact that Florida lost uh, again, this weekend, it, it still kind of keeps you guys being the cream of the crop in the SEC East. Uh, well, with the attitude we have, we want to control our own destiny. We don't want to depend on a team to lose and, you know, all this top-ranking stuff. We feel like we can just go in and run the table. You know, that is speak for itself.